Hello everyone, I am Natasha Lee. Coming up in this update, man sought for questioning in connection to cannabis lay sweets sold to students. Prime Minister Andrew Holness honors students of BB Coke High School. Michael Freiter and Ewan Blake to start a truck club in Jamaica. And finally, Lauren Donaldson says, JFF is yet to make bonus payments. Stay tuned. Let's go to our first story. The police believe Devon Olness of Mansfield Heights may be able to assist with their investigations. The police is asking Devon to contact the St. Anne's Bay Police. Several students of Ocherius Primary School in Jamaica were rushed to hospital after consuming cannabis laced sweets sold to them by a vendor. So again, Devon Holness is being asked to contact the St. Anne's Bay Police. All right, so Devon. Wherever you are in Jamaica, kindly reach out to the Sentence Bay Police. All right, let's now move on to our next story. And in this one, Prime Minister Andrew Olness honors students of BB Coke High School. Prime Minister Andrew Holness honored the five male students of B.B. Coke High School who assisted Jaheem Coleman, the student beaten unconscious by another student after accidentally stepping on his shoes. According to the Prime Minister, these extraordinary young men exemplify what it means not to follow the crowd, to be a leader and not a follower, to break the mold and to stand up for what is right even when others stand by and watch. Their names are Leon Barnes, Carrie Green, Dejon Gordon, Dejon Powell, and Gary Bartley. And now to our next story. Freighter and Blake to set up new club after Titan split. According to Nationwide News, two of the country's most successful sprinters are reportedly on the verge of forming the newest track and field club in Jamaica. Just hours after their split from the Titans, it is understood that 2005 World 100 Meter silver medalist Michael Freita and 2011 World 100 Meters champion Johan Blake will have their new club up and running in time for preseason. Both Blake and Freighter split from the Titans track club, which Freighter ran with another former athlete and founder, Gregory Little. However, months of issues in the camp came to a head recently, leading to Freighter, Johan Blake, Brianna Williams, and Akeem Blake leaving the club. Among the athletes remaining at the club are Malik James King and Darian Skerritt from Antigua. All right, and we now move to our final story. According to the Jamaica Gleaner, Donaldson, Lauren Donaldson says, JFF is yet to deliver bonus payments. Former Reggae Girls coach Lauren Donaldson says, the Jamaica Football Federation, JFF, is yet to deliver bonus payments for FIFA's Women's World Cup, which was held in Australia and New Zealand over the summer. Donaldson insists that while he has never been overly concerned about his payment, he does want to ensure the girls get their due rewards. Months later, Donaldson is through the door. His contract, which ended on September 30th, was not renewed by the JFF. According to Donaldson, he was aware the funds were with the JFF, having been dispersed by FIFA. The coach also explained that a deadline for payment after having received the funds has long been breached. And I quote, 
The coaching staff is owed money and I have never said anything about money this entire time. We know that the bonus money has come into the JFF because the president told me it was in. And that's Donaldson, end quote. According to Donaldson, his contract stipulates that he and his team get paid within 10 days of the arrival of the funds. And I quote, and this is Donaldson again, it has been in long, it has been in for a long time. And our contract says within 10 days, when the money comes, the bonuses need to be paid. But I rather they take care of the girls and their bonuses. Just do their due diligence. Take care of the players first and foremost. If they are to be paid, pay them. It is their sweat and blood out there, Donaldson commented. All right, when it comes to the money, and this is another quote here from Donaldson, I do not make a big issue. I make a big issue when we need to get to some place and we need to travel and we can't get there the day or the day before. End quote. So that's Donaldson there. He pointed out that he also wanted the players who participated in the earlier qualifying rounds to receive some compensation for their part as well. However, he said the Federation was not receptive to this idea. General Secretary Dennis Strong said the bonus had been received and that it was the prize money that was still outstanding. He also explained that the 300000 withheld by FIFA is for expenses the royal governing body incurred on behalf of the Jamaica national team. And I quote, and this is Dennis here, the problem is the prize money. FIFA withheld some funds because of some expenses they paid on our behalf. So what they spent, they have withheld. We have not finalized the payment for the prize money as yet. What we have received is the net. They are working out tax dedu deductions and such, but the bonus has been received and has been paid out. So it is just the prize money we are waiting on to be finalized and then the girls will get their percentage. But every day we call FIFA about it and as soon as it is finalized, we want to pay it out to them. And the end of that quote there from Dennis Chow. All right, so those were the updates for today. What are your views on these developments? Leave your comments in the chat and stay tuned for further updates. subscribe to this channel so that you can listen to the different voices in education. Stay tuned!